da 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 Welcome back to Sylvie's Super Awesome Mini Maker Show, episode one, season two. Woohoo! On this episode, we're laughing out loud at how many LEDs we're gonna solder in. For the LOL shield from our good friend Jimmy Rogers. Let's go. For this blinky build, we will need the LOL shield kit from the Maker Shed, soldering iron and solder, an Arduino, any kind will do. We'll be using our shiny new Arduino Uno, a computer, a USB cable, wire snips, and last but not least, a vice or helper hands. Not required, but really useful. First, get yourself a nice, clear workspace. What the heck? And carefully dump out the contents of the kit. There's a lot of LEDs in there. I mean, a lot. Well, okay, not that many. Take all your parts and lay them out. You should have one PCB, 133 itty bitty LEDs, and one 36 pin header strip. The LEDs are first, so get that soldering iron hot. Remember, LEDs have polarity. The short leg is the negative, or cathode, and the long leg is the positive, or anode. From the top, we can also see the side with the negative lead is flat. Matching up with the silk screen on the PCB. Carefully place your LEDs to fill one column, then pinch the leads a bit so they don't fall out. Then flip the board over. Now carefully solder in only one lead of each LED. Once you got the column soldered, flip it back over. Oh my gosh, they look like crooked teeth. Not to worry though. Just heat up the solder joint for an LED while pressing and wiggling it down flush with the board. Ta-da, perfectly straight. Repeat with the rest, then solder the other leads, trimming as you go. Only 13 more columns left to do. Be sure and check out the complete instructions by Jimmy and some of his other cool kits and projects at jimmyprogers.com slash LLShield. Phew! Once all the LEDs are in place, put the headers into your Arduino and snip them off at the right length. When done, place the shield over until it fits. Then solder up the headers. And you're done! Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah! Now head over to your computer, plug in the Arduino, get the LOL Shield library into your Arduino IDE, and upload the test pattern example sketch. If everything went well, you should see this test pattern. Ooh. Now what can you do with it? Almost anything! Really? How about a scrolling marquee for your very own message? Conway's Game of Life, a cellular automaton simulation. A custom animation, this one from the LOL Shield Theater at falldev.com slash LOL Shield. A video or animated GIF. And if you add a button and a potentiometer, you can play Tetris, Space Invaders, Pong, or even make your own game. You're only limited by your imagination, coding skill, and how much you can fit on this little chip. That's all we've got for today's show. Remember to experiment with different types of programs or games, maybe try and write your own, respect your soldering iron, and get out there and make something.